Jake Vegas Digital presents Day of the Dinks and the One-Eyed Bass on this episode of Looking Up. We got a fish on, guys. You got a fish on. Here we go. Holy cow, I got a little bass out of here. Came out here fishing for bluegill. Looks like we got a little largemouth bass. Little guy. Well, he's a squirmer. There we go, we got him. Try to get that hook out of his mouth. It's in there nice and good. First fish of the day. Little largemouth. Interesting coloring it's got to it. No lines I don't see. That's alright though. We'll throw it back in the water and try to catch some more. Boom, I saw this little guy hit. Another little largemouth bass. A dink and a half here. This thing is tiny. Itty bitty largemouth. Not, not what I'm used to catching. That's alright though. We'll put it back in the water. Hopefully we can get some bluegill. I'd like to get some bluegill, maybe even some crappie. So I went fishing with the intention to catch bluegill on this trip. The Fishbrain app, which I've been using recently, stated that I had about a 24% chance of catching bluegill. My percentage chance of catching bass was somewhere between 1 and 6%. Now I'd seen pictures on Fishbrain of big bluegill caught from this very spot. So with a decent percent chance of catching them, according to the Fishbrain app, I figured I'd come out here and just bank on bluegill. Well, we'll see what happens. There we go, we got another one, guys. We got another fish. Ah. Man, these bass, these little bass are just hitting this jig like crazy. And he goes back in the water and takes off. <laughs> there we go. We got a fit. Look at that, guys. Another bass. Unbelievable. Off these little panfish jigs, we are catching all kinds of bass. This one's a little bit bigger. Dink day. Oh, it broke my lure right off. Calm down there. Oh, he's missing an eye. Dude, look at that. Talk about a zombie fish. That thing is missing a freaking eyeball, guys. But it was still able to see that lure. Unbelievable. It's got one good eye. Wow. Zombie fish with the zombie eyeball. No eye whatsoever. Unbelievable. It's got one on the other side, but not on this side. Whew. Interesting. Let's put it back in the water. Alright, since we've been having more luck catching bass on the uh, bluegill jigs, I'm going to switch it up to this storm swim bait. If you guys can look at that, it's got some crazy little action to it. Looks like it'd be real good for bass. I've used it a couple of times and have caught some bass off of it. We're going to try it out here on this lake and uh, see if we have any luck with it. Hopefully we do. I um, still like to do some bluegill fishing, but you know, you can't have everything in life. <laughs> But let's see if we could land some uh, bigger bass out here than what we've been catching off of this 
off of this Storm soft plastic swim bait. They're right up there, right up on the shoreline. I can see them splashing around. There we go. We got, we got one. Fantastic little guy. Another little bass, not a huge one. They are hitting. This is dink day out here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> dink day. He swallowed that swim bait hook, though. This is the one I think I've been seeing playing around out there. All right, we got him here. Oh, there we go, guys. Little dinkage. Little dinkage, small bass. Let's put him back in the water. See if we can get a bigger one. Hopefully. <laughs> this is off that storm swim bait, though. I see some other bass playing around out there. Bumping it up to my secret bluegill weapon here. Bluegill and trophy. I've caught a lot on these baits. Let's go ahead and toss it out here. Fish brain saying that we got a short window for catching bluegill. Uh, best chances of catching bluegill. So let's get out here. Let's see if we can nab some of them. Apologize for the lawnmower in the background. There we go, we got a fish guys. I'm not sure what it is. Another bass. Come on man. Where are the bluegill at? Where are the bluegill? I just don't know to be honest with you. Uh oh, you feisty little son of a bugger. We lift you. Alright. Well, another bass, not bad. I mean, generally I'm not upset to catch bass, but I like catching bass better when they're bigger. Obviously, who doesn't? But I really want to catch some some big bluegill out of here. I've heard that there are big bluegill in in this lake, and I'd like to I'd like to get my share of them. So far, we're not having luck catching any panfish. We've caught nothing but bass. Little ones, too. Caught our zombie bass, our pirate bass earlier. I don't know. Let's we'll see what happens here. So with a 24% chance, according to Fishbrain, of catching bluegill, we didn't land a single bluegill. With a 1-6% to 6 chance of catching bass, we caught about, what, 5, 6? So whether or not the fish brain app is completely accurate, I don't know yet. It was still a decent day of fishing. We did land fish, which is better than not catching any fish at all. Thanks for watching this episode of Hooking Up, Day of the Dinks and the One-Eyed Bass. You guys know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, shoot that like button. If you'd like to stay up to date on future content, subscribe and click that notification bell. I'm Jake Vegas with Jake Vegas Digital. Thanks for watching. Keep on fishing in the free world, and we will see you next time.